Early Retirement Extreme, A Philosophical and Practical Guide to Financial Independence by Jacob Lund Fisker. Continuous Physical and Mental Challenge. Most of us don't do much of anything these days, other than the specialised niche set of responsibilities in our day job and the predictable pattern outside of work hours, commuting, making dinner, grocery shopping, watching TV etc. Jacob suggests that there is another way to live that enables us to truly feel alive whilst challenging our minds and bodies on a regular basis, which both leads to increased health and happiness. His suggestion, do it for yourself instead of outsourcing. For example, living closer to work so you can do something active to commute and possibly get rid of the car, or learning to cook and prepare healthier meals from scratch at home, or learning new things by building, managing and maintaining your own stuff. Understand what value means to you. When most people say it's good value, they actually mean it's cheap. Know the difference between good value and low cost. Is an expensive education to do a sedentary office job good value to you? Or would you be better off pursuing another path? Always think for yourself and ask the question of whether something is worth the cost and is good value, both in terms of price and time. Is the path we are following in our best interests or the interests of the system? The total cost of stuff is much larger than its initial purchase price. It's not the things themselves that are the problem, it's the issues that come along with it, like time spent on servicing and maintaining a house or a car, or hours worked over your life to pay the mortgage. There is no such thing as need. Jacob suggests that the only true things that we need in life is air and water. Everything else is a want. By asking ourselves what is truly essential to our happiness, this can allow us to enjoy a fulfilled life on a fraction of the cost. The three pillars of the early retirement extreme philosophy. Number one, reduce waste and increase efficiency. Number two, significantly reduce expenses, invest the difference in businesses. And number three, find something meaningful to do instead of work. Making a living. We are often consumed by the endless pursuit of making a living, yet people are so busy making a living that they actually have no time to live. Like sheep who just follow the herd, or birds who have no flight plan yet always seem to swarm together in a flock, most humans don't stop and question anything that they are doing. They just drift along with the status quo. This book explains that we are currently living in one of the most abundant times in the history of humanity, and yet genuine happiness and satisfaction appear harder and harder to come by. Yes, this book is extreme to put it lightly, but clearly following the status quo of a sedentary 9 to 5 job is a poor model for human fulfilment. Maybe it's time to choose a different path by harnessing the tools of capitalism and pursuing a life of meaningful work and happiness.